Good morning, everybody. I'm reading today Jeremiah 37, verses 9 and 10. These are the words of Jeremiah to King Zedekiah. Thus says the Lord, do not deceive yourselves, saying, the Chaldeans will surely depart from us, for they will not depart. For though you had defeated the whole army of the Chaldeans who fight against you, and there remained only wounded men among them, they would rise up, every man in his tent, and burn the city with fire. Amen. This was an encouraging time for King Zedekiah, who had newly come to the throne. The king of Egypt had come up to Jerusalem to support him, with the result that Nebuchadnezzar's Babylonian army had withdrawn. But the Lord speaks to Zedekiah through Jeremiah and warns him that judgment is coming on Judea and Jerusalem through the Babylonians, and it will come no matter how safe Zedekiah felt at that moment. Jeremiah was subsequently accused of bringing down the morale of the Jews and even of being a traitor. As a result, he spent much of the next few years in prison, and he would even have died there if the Lord had not preserved his life. But of course, Jeremiah was right. The Babylonian army came back. The Egyptian army fled back to Egypt. But the Lord, in his wonderful love and mercy, continued to be gracious to Zedekiah. Through Jeremiah, he told Zedekiah to give himself up to Nebuchadnezzar. And if he did so, it would go relatively well for him and for Jerusalem. You can read that in chapter 38, verse 17. But sadly, Zedekiah rejected the word of God and refused. So then Jerusalem was under siege for nearly two years. People starved. Then Jerusalem fell. Zedekiah was captured. His sons were killed in front of him. That was the last thing he ever saw because his eyes were gouged out and he was dragged off to Babylon. All that the Lord had spoken of the fall and destruction of Jerusalem came to pass. Zedekiah had felt so secure, but he wasn't. He had placed himself outside of the will of God, and that is never a good position to be in. But what strikes me here is the Lord's declaration that he will bring his purposes to pass. He says, even if it turned out that the Babylonian army was useless and those fighting with Zedekiah were very skilled, the defeated and wounded soldiers of Babylon would still rise up and burn the city of Jerusalem with fire. The Lord is bringing about and will bring about his will. There is nothing and no one who can stop it. And we praise God for that. Amen. Have a great day.